Hey everybody, it's Brad. Got another uh, Designers Gallery Creator video for you. This will be a quick one. Uh, what I want to do is show you how to install a BX format font into your Designers Gallery Creator software. This also works with Embroidery Works, both everyday and advanced. Uh, and of course, if you have both Embroidery Works and Designers Gallery Creator, it becomes one program anyway. Uh, and that's what I've got going on in my software. I have uh, Embroidery Works Advanced and Creator um, and every day. So if, you, if I go to my font tool here, it says Create Letters, uh, you can see that I have uh, a number of fonts to choose from. Um, but if I want to add more to what I have already available, um, or if I have Creator and all I have is a single font, um, I want to show you how easy it is to install format BX fonts into your software. So there's lots of places you can go to download um, BX format fonts. Um, usually they cost between two and ten dollars for a font. Uh, and when you install it, instead of having um, like if you go buy a, a normal font, you'll have all the individual embroidery designs as individual letters. Um, and uh, if you get one that's already in a BX, you can install it directly in, so it's going to show up in this list right here of fonts. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, first thing you have to do is download and uh, and put on your computer a, a, a .bx format font. And what I'm going to do is actually link you to a place that I found. I looked all over the whole internet trying to find a free BX format font because I didn't want to pay five bucks for a font. Um, and I finally found one that's free. It's legal. You're like allowed to buy it uh, or you're allowed to download it. You don't have to put in your information or anything to get it. Um, and uh, so I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. So go look under there and click on that link. And... Um, you will be looking at a page that looks like this um, and this is just a thing that has instructions on how to install BX format fonts and they provide a free one right here so you're gonna left click right here where it says font download the file put it somewhere on your computer that you know where it is uh, and then open the folder that uh, that it's in okay so what you want to do is have a folder somewhere that you're looking at this file it's called Art Apply Fine Elegant 20.bx is the name of the file that downloads when you hit this button. Um, let's see, I'm going to open up my creator program again here. And uh, let's see, I've got my file is here. Okay, I've got it in a folder. I downloaded it earlier. And all you have to do, all you have to do, it could not be simpler, is left click on the file, wherever it is on your computer, left click and drag it into the design field, okay, and let go of the mouse. Okay, close this. The font Art Apply Fine Elegant 20 has been installed. I hit OK. I go up to my Create Letters icon and I should have Art Apply Fine Elegant. So this is my font that I just got for free over the internet. Uh, and there it is. It's now installed in my program and I can type stuff out with my keyboard. Hit Set and I have a font ready to use. I can use all the spacing tools um, and edit the way that it looks and all that same as any font that was already built into my software. So that is a good way to expand your library of fonts if you don't feel like digitizing your own uh, or buying some other software. Um, if you find a font that you like uh, that's a .bx font then you can download it and install it into your software. Um, so I mean there's like 30 different sites that sell these things but if you just do a Google search for uh, embroidery font BX format you'll find them um, so anytime you look at a font that you're looking to buy just make sure that it sells it as a BX and do what I just showed you copy it or directly into the design field and it'll install it for you automatically hope this helps some people thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video